32 year old Earl Kimry faces several charges tonight related to Mariah's death, but the charges do not include murder. As Jonah Kaplan reports, the investigation in Onslow County has a long way to go. He entered the courtroom straight faced and in handcuffs, escorted by several sheriff's deputies. Prosecutors accusing this man, 32 year old Earl Kimry, of hiding the death of three year old Mariah Woods. Investigators say Kimry was the live-in boyfriend of Mariah's mother. Uh, Mr. Kimry, do you understand that you have the right to remain silent in the state and you make it years against you? Yes, sir. Kimry is also charged with obstructing justice, burglary, larceny, and possessing stolen property. You understand what all of those charges are? Yes, sir. Okay. Police activated an Amber Alert for Mariah last Monday, November 27th. The FBI joined the search the next day. And by week's end, other federal agencies, the Marines, plus several hundred volunteers, all enlisting in the effort. The FBI arresting Kimberly on Friday. Dive teams finally found her this weekend in a creek 25 miles from Mariah's home. Tisha Christie was one of those volunteers who chose to attend Kimberly's first appearance in court today, thinking about her own son. And I couldn't even imagine, you know, something happening to him over just foul play and just unknown reasons. Why would you do this to a child? Again this morning, it was the district attorney who was handling the legal issues here surrounding Mariah Woods's case. But it's the sheriff and his deputies still working on the criminal investigation. And also today, an autopsy being performed and detectives are hoping that could offer more clues into exactly what happened. Sheriff Hans Miller today praising the FBI and thanking everyone who pitched in. He says his deputies will take it from here and it's possible there are other suspects. We're not ruling anything out. A criminal investigation is very complex in nature. And the reason that it is, because a lot of times, different information comes, it has to be corroborated, it has to be looked into. Mariah's case is the 11th Amber Alert in North Carolina this year, but the first to end without the safe return of the child. In Onslow County, Jonah Kaplan, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.